Uh, there's a cool piece of software I recently found, which is the Nuked SC55 program. It's an emulator of Roland's uh, Sound Canvas, where it, if you have the uh, if you have the files for the Sound Canvas, you can throw them in here and rename them appropriately, and then it'll pick up the files. And you can see here what you have to rename it to. So if you're using the Sound Canvas Mark II, it's like you have to go from this to ROM 1. What you're going to need is, of course, the program itself, which if you're using Windows, go, go to Releases, Download, yeah, 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 whatever. And you're also going to need Loop MIDI, which is surprisingly powerful. This right here is the one that I use. You can, you can name them whatever. And any program that supports MIDI's will pick it up. I just made a real quick one called Test Input. So go download it, or find some copy of the, like, Sound Canvas stuff. If you want an idea of what it supports, it supports the Mark II, Mark I, CM300, uh, 1A, and the rest of these things. I have the Mark II configuration. What you want to do is of course have your input here set up and then create a shortcut of this whenever you do that you can look at the properties set the target to dash p with a uh, colon and then the port number which if we scroll down here default is port zero which is just like midi input i think dash p and then port number if you want to use it with all their applications loop midi Whenever I was setting this up, SC55 Mark 1 was actually, or Mark 2, was actually the first port already. This is already port 2, I think. So whenever you create one of these, I think it's going to be, like, just port 1 for the first one that you have, unless you have some other, like, weird thing connected to your computer. Dash P, and then the port number. So in my case, it would be 2 now, because of the way that setting this up works. You open it up, and you should see this if everything's correct. And you can see over here in the console that it says test input, which is the program I was using. And now let's open up GZDoom. So, using GZDoom, you're not going to hear anything on the current port that I'm using. But if I switch over to test input, then hopefully if all goes right. There we go. So now you can hear that it is indeed working. And you can go into wherever. It sounds beautiful. It's a lot better than most of the sound canvas sound fonts you'll find just floating around. There is a little, like, hitch whenever you first go into a level, but it's, like, it's, like, just a few milliseconds. But, yeah. Uh, sorry if this wasn't very elaborate. I did not see any other tutorials on how to use this program. So... I, I just decided to make one. 